unique talk show. Today we are shooting at the iconic Waikiki Beach on Oahu, Hawaii. Minglava. Aloha. Aloha. Do you need talk show on a choose of water? Easy to marry. Am I a bio go? Do you need talk show in a mix up? Okay, shit. I do my name, I mean, we win by bar. Do my good Asia Pacific Center for Security Studies, so that U.S. Department of Defense here, Education Center, the Kuma, a Pama Katia Lumi Raish. Do my need in the other Honolulu, Hawaii, look away. Amaga America go, but a cunning up young shake hell. Ah, the tongue. ကိုယရှိစဉ်နေပေါ့ဒီမှာစက်လေးနေတမိနဲ့ဒီကိုရောက်လာတာပါအမကမိဘာရီနဲ့ဘာကြောင့်အမေရိကကိုပြောင်း
အချိန်ချပြီးတော့အဲ့ဒီကနေတော့တဆင့်ညမနိုင်ငံတွေဝင်ဘို့အတွက်ကိုအာအချိန်ချပြီးတော့အဲ့ဒီကနေတော့တ
green, blue, aqua mm -hmm. blue. And um, and so my husband and I go there all the time and we, we, we kayak and enjoy it. And, and you see a lot of turtles too there. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> turtles will pop up and it's quite a treat, yeah. Mm -hmm. So Mimi, do you have any advice for any younger generations, especially those of Burmese descent? Sure, yes, yeah, because my love for sports, you know, I really encourage young people to participate in physical activities and sports, you know, because mm -hmm. sports teach you so many things, not only good for uh, being physically fit, but it's also, you know, help you with your self-confidence and, mm -hmm. you know, um, and, and mind and body together. Mm -hmm. So, but additionally, I want to give an advice to people my age, mm -hmm. you know, mid-50s, right, and especially women in my age, you know, in the Burmese culture, culture, right? Uh, many times uh, when people are my age, they just uh, do meditation or they will just take care of grandchildren. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to, you know, you don't have to live by that stereotype. Mm -hmm. But because I think it's really important for people my age to be more active and exercise. Mm -hmm. So even me right now, you know, I play tennis, but I also picked up a new sports called pickleball mm -hmm. and it's really fun. So, you know, any age and, and more my age, really, I encourage everybody to be more active and uh, uh, you know it's never too late to learn a new uh, new sports mm -hmm. actually yeah mm -hmm. that is some great advice thank you yes I know you've been in the military for a very long time right yes yeah 28 years oh wow oh, do you have any advice to give to those who are interested in joining sure yes uh, military service has been a great addition to my career you know mm -hmm. my life um, it has brought a lot of valuable experience for mm -hmm. me and for us an immigrant right uh, it's kind of giving back to this wonderful country mm -hmm. our adopted country so I would if they're uh, uh, amenable to it they like to join you know I really encourage both young women and men to join the military service and mm -hmm. it has been a great career and it has brought all kinds of opportunities uh, mm -hmm. that I would have never, you know, encounter uh, if I didn't have the military service. So, but you know, of course, military service is a, a special type of person, personality. So you would want to do it, right? But mm -hmm. if you want to, I think it's a great career and a, um, a great opportunity. Mm -hmm. So yes, I would recommend, you know, check checking that out. Of course, yes. Yeah. That was some really great advice and information, Mimi. So thank you so much for spending time with us today at Unique Talk Show. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, thank you for allowing me to share some of my insights mm -hmm. and you know information. Mm -hmm. And uh, great job to the director, Dylan Chow, and mm -hmm. you. A great job for hosting for Tim Bird. Thank you thank so much. Thank you. We'll see you next time, Mimi. See you next time as well. <laughs>